Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS F16C Viper video, we're going to take a look at the dual target track or DTT subsystem of the range wall surge acquisition mode. And this is going to allow us to uh, track uh, two targets in detail, primary and secondary, and engage them while maintaining good situational awareness around them. So, first, let me zoom into our display a little bit, and we're going to go outboard on the dogfight switch to put us into MRM mode. And using the uh, cursor, I'm going to move to the top of the SCR and increase my range out to 80 miles, and then go off to the right to decrease my azma setting to about 30 degrees. So we got some targets popping up, and what I'm going to do is to, I'm going to designate my primary first by putting the cursor over one of the targets. You go forward on the team switch, and now I'm going to do the same thing for the guy next to him to mark that as my secondary. So the primary has a circle around it, and the secondary does not. But we can toggle between them by going right on the team switch. See them cycling them back and forth. Now, once either of them get to uh, 10 miles, we'll stop scanning the other targets in the volume. Uh, once one of them gets to 3 miles, it'll automatically go to STT on that target. Now, we're in this mode, we can also then slew our asthma scan off them entirely. You know, we can see the uh, blue T-bar at the bottom. It still scans the area, but will actually go outside to dwell in those to keep track. And if we were to move the scan just on them and away those other targets, we'll see that those other targets uh, drop off the SCR because they're not in the scan volume anymore, as you can see there. So at this point, we can go ahead and uh, launch an with 20 on the primary. Now we'll set the secondaries to primary, toggling over, and an AIM-120 on him. And the colors and the hollow fill is still very much work in progress. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Thanks.